Raiding the Kingdom, episode 128, Slayers of the North. The Chiefs and Raiders are coming off two dominant NFC North wins. Well, not super dominant, but they're wins yeah. nonetheless. We took out half of the North. That's what matters, all right? For the we first did. time this year, we're both one and – or what we both had wins. You know, I won't say one and one and whatever because we're far beyond that. Um, but how are you feeling today, Coach? How are we doing? Feeling good. You know, it's uh, we're, we're post football here on, on a Tuesday. You know, last time we obviously came to you at Monday, but the, the games later on didn't really matter. And we know who we were going to win, who was going to win that. Um, but yeah, it feels good to come out with a uh, another, uh, I guess, hard fought win. Um, got got a little dicey there at the end, but we can't, like I said, came out with a win. That's all that matters. You got to win. We can have our uh, our first week of being winners together. So that always makes the podcast a little bit more, uh, <clears throat> I guess, better for both of us. Yeah. Then. Dual yeah. victories. I love it. Dual victories. Yes. Yeah, let's take it. So we'll, we'll start with my Monday night um, football experience. I don't like Monday night. And I said this on the preview show for the sake that you're the only game on. So all your football friends are watching it. So I get texts and, you know, social media stuff from everyone just pretty much talking smack. Um, and there was a lot of smack to be talked about, but luckily uh, the Raiders came out on top, seven to thirteen against the Green Bay Packers. Haven't beat them since nineteen eighty seven. Seventeen thirteen. What I say? Nineteen. You said seven to thirteen. Oh God, I'm out of it. Seventeen thirteen. Um, yeah. So the Raiders are now two and three. Packers, I believe, fall to two and three. So I'm pretty pumped about that. We haven't beat them since 87. Eight-game losing streak against Green Bay. The last time we played them, Aaron Rodgers posted a perfect passer rating. Jordan Love did quite the opposite. He ended the night going 16 for 30. He threw zero touchdowns and three interceptions, one of which was tipped by uh, Marcus Peters. Two were hauled in by Robert Spillane, the linebacker. And then the third one was that beautiful game winner, High point by Amik Robertson, the five foot nine cornerback against the six foot four Christian Watson. So that was pretty incredible uh, for those that watched it. The Raiders' offense is still not going in the direction I'd like it to. Um, Jimmy went 22 for 31, so not terrible. Um, 205 yards, one touchdown, one interception. The interception was bad. Uh, his leading target was Jacoby Myers, 10 targets, 7 receptions, 75 yards, and a touchdown. Devontae is a little further down the list. Uh, Michael Mayer finally got involved. You and I have been talking about him for months, and he's finally uh, – he had two catches for 39 yards. He actually looked pretty fast. I don't know if you saw with the ball in his hand. The guy has legs for being the size that he is. So mm -hmm. um, if they want to get him included, involved in the game, that would be good, beneficial going forward. Just another target for, for Jimmy to throw in the flat or, you know, in the middle of the field on that nice check down maybe you know mm -hmm. um but max crosby once again this was kind of like a defensive battle the packers you know defense did did very well they're all over jimmy um he got sacked uh four times and they had eight tackles for loss then on the raider side of the ball obviously the three pickers is great max crosby had a sack four tackles for loss a qb hit and four pressures i believe he's leading the league in pressures now the guy's just an animal um still waiting for tyree wilson the rookie to get his Feed in there. I actually saw he got double teamed a couple times, um, which is interesting. I didn't think they'd have to do that. But, um, you know, just overall, the, the defense, which I thought looked really bad that first drive because they were letting A.J. Dillon just run up and down the field. Um, the defense, I mean, they held a, a decent, very young, but a decent offense to 13 points. Um, so, I, you know, it looked sloppier than it was. And I know the horse collar from Marcus Peters drew a lot of attention because that prevented a Christian Watson touchdown, which likely would have had us losing, but the defense held strong. Did you see um, Mike Florio from Pro Football Talk said that we should, if you do that within a certain distance of the goal line, then it should be an automatic touchdown? Yeah. Ra Raiders win, so that's uh, we have to adjust the rules now, I guess. <laughs> you know, it's just like the Bills couldn't figure it out in overtime, so now we have to change overtime, right? Yeah, I know, exactly. I know you're familiar with that one. I am. Um, but that's really all I had on it. So great defensive performance against a young but very fast. I thought a they're not like a track team like the Dolphins, but they're pretty fast and, and all the young game players, uh, playmakers they have. So I'm, I'm happy with that. The offense just really has to get it going. Jimmy has to cut it out with the interceptions and just get the ball out. So, I mean, 22 for 31 isn't abysmal. Um better than Jordan Love, but not not great. So I don't know if you had any takes on the game before we go to 
the other NFC North team that suffered. Yeah, yeah it's kind of like Jair Alexander said, uh, you know, that the Packers are going to have to win with their defense, not their offense, when, until they figure it out. So um, the Packers offense looked like absolute dog, you know what, against the Raiders. And I think it made the Raiders defense look probably better than what they actually are. Um, you know, Jordan Love, this is his first year. You know, we thought coming out the gate, like, oh, man, this is – they've done it again. <sighs> Got to hold the reins back a little bit. But he could still be very good. You know what I mean? It's just it, – it takes time. Um, I don't think he's bad. About. I think he just had a bad game. And he had a bad game, yeah. But we, NFL, we get one game a week, right? So it's like we, right. we nitpick on it more so than any other – probably any other sport, right? Because all the other sports, you get multiple games in a week. But a good win for the Raiders, nonetheless. You know, uh, Jimmy showed up. Jacob showed up. The guys that you want, your your playmakers, for the most part, showed up. Obviously, Devontae didn't go crazy. Um, but uh, you, you guys saw they held... had Preston Smith lined up on him? Outside yeah. linebacker slash DN. Like, I don't know why they do that. It didn't end, it didn't end well for him. But, yeah, I mean, it wasn't like a touchdown to the house. But he definitely uh, – you know, definitely put the moves on him pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. So, but again, a, a win like we like we talk about, man. We wins don't got to be pretty. We just got to get them, and we got to move on to the next week and hopefully perform better than we did the previous. So that that's all we can look for. And you're going up against a, uh, we'll go to you in that in a minute. But I mean, you got to feel good if you're going. You get this win, and you go up against the Patriots next week. So yeah. So I'll and I'll go into the Patriots when we do our breakdowns. But that's going to be the battle of the bottom offensive. Teams. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of storylines to it, but a lot of like, I don't think anyone's excited for it. No, no. Yeah, yeah, being being right the there. Patriots used to be like a, a prestige and honor. It's not really so much anymore. No. Um, but let's get into your game. Um, Chiefs beat the Vikings by seven, and the rest of the NFC North owes you a beer, a whiskey, something because you guys took out. Uh, we don't condone injured Violence. players, but uh, Justin Jefferson being out for four games helps the rest of the league out. Ruins a lot of fantasy teams. Yes. So. You know, I think Justin Jefferson was easily a top three pick in a lot of people's drafts. So, oh, yeah. You know, to those people, I apologize. It was nothing intentional. It was his hamstring. So, it was nothing that we did directly. Right. Uh, we just, we covered him well. You know, he, uh, the defense showed up, um, you know, 27 20. You know, they, they made it a little bit closer at the end. I like the more 27 13 makes the game look, look a little bit more dominant. But we got the job done, um, and we're getting the job done with with really just like it seems like just Travis Kelsey. I mean, Justin Watson made some great pe- some great uh, some great catches, um, and uh, some made some highlight reels. But you know, ten receptions, sixty seven yards for for Man Beautiful and a touchdown. Uh, Pacheco got on the board. Uh, let's see who else got on the board. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, it was Pacheco, it was Kelsey, and it was Rasheed Rice, the rookie. Uh, who who got on the board? So um, again, we're we're, I, we're spreading the ball out to a lot of different guys. We're just not having. I guess you know it's it's been a couple of years post Tyreek and whatnot, but you know you're used to having a wide receiver that has you know more than two catches. You know what I mean? Right. Um, and I think he, we'll get it figured out. I keep saying that every week. We'll get it figured out. I'm sure if you look back or listen back, it'll it'll be oh we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We're getting we're doing enough right now to win. Um, I don't think our level of competition, um, the teams we've played so far, are um, immensely talented. You know, we got like Nick Wright said, I got him. I got his name right the first time this time. There you go. Uh, you know, season starts against the Dolphins, right? Quotation marks. You know, we got obviously Denver coming up this week. Um, but, uh, yeah, we still need to make improvements. We still need to be better, but we got the job done. Minnesota is not a chump team. They're probably the best one and four team, um, that I can think of in recent time. I just think they've had some bad luck and, uh, they just haven't. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy that they're one and four, honestly, because it is a somewhat talented team. Um, now having Jefferson, who, who knows what happens or where, Kirk Cousins ends up in the next couple of weeks, you know, when we come up on the NFL trade deadline. But uh, we got the job done. The defense showed up. Another great defensive performance. Uh, Chris Jones got a sack. Leo Chanel got a sack. Uh, Dan Tranquil, who has come in um, and just been a, been a stud. Ten, nine total tackles, five solo. Um, no interceptions or anything like that. But the uh, 
you know, for the most part, the, the, the secondary held them at bay. Jefferson didn't really go off. Jordan Addison had a decent game. You're not going to shut them down completely. Uh, but we did enough to get the win. Came out of Minnesota with a dub. And, uh, yeah, we're on to Denver. I mean, that's that's kind of my take on it. I mean, we, it's like beating a dead horse. We were kind of waiting for Brett Veach to – like if – I think if you guys want to even make it to the Super Bowl, he's going to have to make some kind of a wide receiver, free agent acquisition, something coming up. Um, like you said, uh, the test against – like the Bills, the Bengals defense, that kind of thing is going to uh, – the Dolphins – um, those are going to be teams that could stand in your way if you guys don't have enough firepower to kind of, you know, hit back at them. But yeah, it's all in Kelsey, but he keeps having these like close little injury scares. You yeah, know, that, started with, with ankle, week uh, with one, and here we are. Yeah, it was like, uh, you know, everyone's just got to shake it off. <laughs> shake it off. Oh, look at you. You read that? Mm. I did. That was real. Even you, you were holding that. You were hoping I would say something. Um, well, uh, 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 good. Good work on that with the uh, Taylor Swift um, pun there. But, uh, yeah, just had to shake it off, and he was back at it. And like Patty said, he is not the guy you want to talk to when he's angry. Um, a little Hulk, Hulk reference there. Somewhere in that sense. Um, but, yeah, great win. And, again, they don't have to be pretty. You're 4-1. and one. Win That's is a win. Doesn't matter. Yep. Yeah, if you've never scored more than 18 points in a game, it doesn't matter as long as you win, right? Exactly. Yeah, well, we play the Dolphins at some point this year, so that's going to come to bite us. We'll, we'll see how that goes. So while we're at it, uh, let's start with our predictions. Coach, you took a hefty lead on me. You had 10 correct. I had 9. So the our contest stands 55 to 48. Um. So I was going to say, is there some unique way I could switch up the predictions to give you a bit more of a chance here? Because I'm just killing it. But Okay, l- l- let me tell you something, dude. <laughs> this, ain't no, this ain't no freaking bullshit. We get, everybody gets a trophy, okay? Oh, I'm very no, aware because not everyone's getting a no, jersey. I, I, don't, I don't want any, I, no. Oh, you don't want me to make it easier for you? I don't want to make it easier for me. That's okay. like, th- this is what's wrong with the world. Is everyone wants to make everything easier? That's not how that's. Yeah, done. I'm looking out for you, dude. I, I'm looking out for you, dude. No, <laughs> I'm sucking, and I gotta, I gotta own that. And am I gonna have to sell a kidney possibly to get you a jersey? Yeah, but you know what? I made that bet, and that's how we're gonna roll. So don't even trip about it. Don't make all it right, easier. Right. This this weak ass. No, we're not doing that. Okay. No. No, I pre. Be it's com- a kind. Be confident at least then that you're gonna. It's a kind thought, but yeah. I ain't no biatch. So I'm gonna take, take my loss take if it I get it, and it. if I come back and win, I am going to gloat like you have never heard anyone gloat before. That's so fair. Just That's be aware. Fair. Hey, I'm ready for it. I mean, you went. Our t-shirt bets continue to mount. Uh, we'll do that again this year because I can't. I obviously can't afford the jersey thing anymore. That's just crazy talk. No. So Thursday, week one, week one. What the heck is wrong with me today? Um, You've been week, thinking about dishwashers, man. I know, right? I got dishwashers, <laughs> man. Uh, you know, I got a little shot yesterday too, so that could, you know, add a little brain there. Uh, yep. So, week six predictions: Thursday, Chiefs Broncos. Yeah, I laid it out. Now we're good. Um, we coach, go. give me give me the preview of this game. It so should be much we're preview. we're <laughs> let's ride, baby. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, yeah. the Broncos, man. What I mean, it is such a it. There's no words for just the continual mistakes that they have made over the last since Peyton Manning left. It is, it's unreal, it really is. Um, and that's you know that's a proud franchise. It's got you know they got three Super Bowls, so um, and it had been you know a relatively dominant team over a significant period of time. But it, it is a complete shit show there. Uh, I heard they're starting to potentially you know think about trading off pieces. I don't know if that's Justin Simmons, Judy whoever it may be. Um, but uh, I Pat Sertain. Pat Sertain. That, 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 I, that I don't think will happen. And I know for a fact it won't be going to a fellow AFC West team. No. Uh, but, no. Um, yeah, I, I am very confident that the Chiefs on Thursday night football on Amazon Prime will, uh, will put in that work. Uh, I feel like this is a game where – you know, the Broncos, believe it or not, they do have a good secondary for the most part, I'd say, right? With Simmons and 
Sertain and stuff like that. So it, I would hope it would give the Chiefs an opportunity to hopefully try and spread the ball around because those guys are going to lock in on, on Travis Kelsey. Uh, but with Isaiah Pacheco running the ball as well as he have and Denver not being able to stop the, anybody, you know, a la Brees Hall, um, you know, this I feel like the Chiefs will go in because I'm is it it's in Denver, right? Or no, it's in Denver. It's in, no, it's I think in it Denver. is in Denver. Let me check right, confirm on that. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in Denver because the Chiefs, yeah, they the Broncos come here later in the in the uh, in the season. Come That's here, ride. That's ride. So uh, this isn't yeah, your Chiefs. first AFC West game, is it? Yes, yes. You haven't is. played the you haven't played the Chargers yet. Yep, I, we play the Chargers next week after. Um, I believe it's Broncos, Chargers, and then yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I'm confident that the Chiefs will uh, will go into Denver and get ha 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 and uh, just just have a dominant win and continue our our uh, ownership of the Broncos. The Waltons do not own them. The Kansas City Chiefs own the Denver Broncos, and I would I would expect at least a two touchdown win. I'm gonna go 14 points. Start there. It's at it's at home. It's at home for you. It is at home for us. It okay. is at home. Yeah, yeah. That's my mistake. That's, you, my mistake. that's your spread, fourteen. Yeah, I'm going fourteen. I and I I feel like the Chiefs. I know it's a short week and whatnot, but I don't think they're fully happy with their the last performance, and they're still waiting for that game where they just go off and Kadarius Tony does something, and Rasheed Rice and Scott just all you know everyone's just hitting on the same uh, on the same wavelength, um and. Uh, you know, go from there. But I think the difference between this Chiefs team and previous ones is that defense has been so good. They're running the ball more than they did with the Eric Bieniemy. Um, so it's not like Pat is like taking a step back. It's just he's a ball. So yeah. you know, all day first Denver until they prove me otherwise. Yeah, I don't really have any doubts on this. Sometimes like teams like that rise to the occasion against better talent, but rise to the occasion as far as give a better fight than one would expect. So if maybe you guys only beat them by like 10 or something like that, that could happen. But I, I think they're going to cover the 14 if that's your your number there. I'm going Chiefs all the way. No question. Under Broncos, I just wrote for sale. So that's what they are right now. And I don't think anyone Shit. wants to buy. Um, so I'm going to take the Sunday uh, 9.30 international game. Uh, do, 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 do I have that right? The Rams and Titans. Rams and Titans. I believe. Rams. No, I must have. Re- no, Ravens and Titans. I can't read my own handwriting. Ravens and Titans. I was like, why did I take the? Uh, I'm going to take Ravens in this against Ryan Tannehill and the crew overseas. Hopefully, Lamar's like. Uh, I mean, I know he his receivers keep a ton of drops and a lot of like weird plays that just didn't work out last week, but. Uh, I'm still going to take the Ravens to to take the Titans overseas. I don't know where they are, London, Germany, one of those. But well, I think they're in London again. I'll go. I'll go Ravens as well. The Ravens as well. All right, Coach, you have the one o'clock game. Interesting one, uh, kind of Falcons and Commanders. It's tough, right? It's tough. Uh, I'm going to do a coin flip here. I'm going to take the Falcons. All right. Well, there you go. Because I had the Commanders, so. The commander's defense had me real worried that uh, Monday – was it against – who did they lose to? Was it Denver? They lost somebody weird. No, who did they just lose to on – it was Thursday Night Football. Oh, the Bears. The Bears, yeah. Sorry, Bears, Broncos. The Bears. Sometimes. The Bears. Um, but I just think their offense is a good chance. I like Sam Howell. I think he's tough. Um, doing better than I expected. I'm going to go commanders of the Falcons. Next, Vikings and Bears. Vikings. They will improve to two and four. Vikings over the Bears. Coach? Oh, man. I forget when I make these weird faces. They were on YouTube now. Um, hey, it adds, to the, it adds to the show. makes it a little more it interesting. It adds to the show. Someone can meme me. Um, yeah. I, will, I, will, I will take the Vikings to right the ship. Okay. Vikings to right the ship. Next, you've got Seahawks and Bengals. I'm going to ride with the Seahawks because I think their secondary is good enough to somewhat contain the um, the onslaught of uh, the Bengals. But I'm going to I'm just going to go out on a limb here and take. I have to take these risks to potentially get closer to you, so I'm going to take the Seahawks. What's funny is I'm also taking the Seahawks. Of course, um, you 
Yeah, I just don't really believe in. I mean, the Bengals tuned up the Cardinals, and that's cute, but uh, I'm just not really a believer yet. And I kind of don't want to be. I'm happy with them not doing as well as we all expected them to be. So I'm going to take Seahawks as well. Next, 49ers and Browns. I'm going Niners. I think they're one of the best teams in the league right now, without a doubt. I think the 49ers are by far the best team in the league. I don't think it's close. I had this discussion with a friend, Dylan, and he's like, well, well I think the uh, I could finally say the Niners are pretty legit. The Niners are <laughs> 1,000% legit. So wait until Dylan. week six to say that, Dylan? Yeah, gotta love him. Uh, yeah, but good he, guy. Uh, yeah, he's he's a great guy. I love it, Dylan. Yeah, but, no, um, they were firing out the gate from week one. So they're firing out the gate, and they it is, and they're going to have even more money to spend next year. So they they've obviously gotten lucky with Brock Purdy because he's I think he's a good quarterback. Um, he's perfect for Shanahan's system. Whether they keep him after the 24 or just kind of find another guy similar to him and just keep rolling with that and see it with these all these other role players they got. But um yeah, the 49ers, I will say this by far are the best team in football. And I, I don't think it's close. Um, but yeah, the 49ers are to continue to roll. Uh yeah. We'll just leave it at that. It's not a 49er show, but it's no, I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna agree with you though. I think when it's a team that good, it's worth you know, discussing about a little bit. Um, I hope they give that kid a raise because you see like what he's making Damn. for Mr. Avella. Oh, I, I haven't really, I don't really want to see so that. that. The, the the NFL, like the, their collective bargaining agreement, he's not allowed, they're not allowed to give him a contract contract extension or a raise. He can't get a contract extension until not his contract yet. is expired or within the final year. Yeah, because he was drafted two years ago. Yeah, so he's got more time. All right. Yeah. Well, I know they can't give him a raise, but something like, God, Get him some endorsements or something. Help the kid out. All right, so, yeah, I'm going to go Niners in that one. Saints and Texans. Um, I really like what C.J. Stroud's doing over there. Um, I think the Saints still have enough firepower to stay effective, even though Derek Carr is doing Derek Carr things. I think it'll be ugly, but I think they'll beat the Texans. I'm going to see what the spread is in that game real quick. Before you make a judgment call there. Saints by one and a half. I will take the Texans. Got to make. I got to take risks. I got to hey, take I, risks. I respect if I'm gonna go that. down with the ship. I'm going to go down. You're going to go down, hey. and that's the thing is we, we don't. Brandon at this point, Brandon might not even be able to pick a jersey, so I might as well just keep going. That's a good. There's really no one that excites me right now. Uh, on the radio, got to throw back like Bo Jackson, or right. Rich Gannon, Cliff Branch, my guy. Um. All right. Colts and Jaguars. This one is yours, Coach. Colts and Jaguars. I will take the Jags. Um, I like the Colts. You know what? God damn. Don't take it just because Garter I'm Minshew. taking the Jags. It's a Garter Minshew revenge it's... game. I'm going to take the Colts. Wow. Okay. I mean, I think it's funny. Like, he comes in when something happens to Richardson. He actually does pretty well. And, like, do you see, like, every run play? He gets in there to try to help push the pile. Yeah. Like, he's yeah, a football player. you're going to have Zach yeah. Moss and you're going to have, you know, Taylor – Jonathan Taylor going at it. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the Colts. I'm going to take the Colts just because why not? All right. Coach taking the Colts. I'm, I'm going to go Jags. Uh, I think they look pretty freaking good over there in um, in London. 2-0. Uh, and o, So, Jags. Going Jags. Panthers and Dolphins. Panthers are 0-5. They're going to be 0-6. Dolphins, we, yeah. That's not we even continue? Even, yeah, that's not even a debate. This one is interesting. for you. You're getting some good ones there, Coach. Uh, Lions and Bucks. Who do you think I'm going to pick? You're going to go with Dan Campbell. You love him. That's Campbell. like your – if he was – I mean, you love Andy Reid, but, like, I'm sure if you if you could only pick one replacement, like, that's your guy. Dan Campbell, 1,000%. Yeah, you love him. I like him just for a Starbucks uh, intake. I think that's hilarious. Um, <laughs> I think the Bucks are way better than I expected them to be. Picked up Baker in Fantasy the other day in my two QB league. Um, but I'm going to go – I'm going to go Lions as well. I think they're just – they're really starting to hit their groove. Do you see that pick by – um? Aiden Hutchinson, he's a man beast, dude. bro. He, but he's it was kind of like that Bijan catch. He like bobbled it to himself. And, I don't know. These some of these guys are just some of these first Here round defensive ends are really shaping out. Another one's not so much. Uh, <laughs> next, Patriots and Raiders, battle of the middle defense. I used to be so pumped to play the Patriots because of the history and how much I dislike Brady and you and I not liking the Patriots because we're from New England and we didn't want to conform to that 
those people. Um, they just got blown out uh, at home to the Saints. And uh, the defense really stepped up there. Our defense is nowhere close to the Saints category. Um, but I think that, I mean, this is, and the, the other storyline here, you got the Padawan and uh, and the Jedi. You got Belichick and one of his disciples. Most of his disciples stink. This one also stinks. So I think I like they're more Sith than Jedi, but. Oh, 100%. Brilliant, Sith. As I'm talking it out, I almost want to pick the Patriots. But I'm not. I'm going to go Raiders. My boys, we're going to be three and three. And then the Bears after that, four and three. Yes. So I'm going to go Raiders. Raiders taking it. Devontae Adams, no one on the team can cover him. It's a done deal. Uh, you look... I'm, I'm going to go with the. No. I'm going to go with the Emperor here. Bro, you yeah. picked against my boys last I'm week. I'm picking against them. Yeah. Like I said, this is this is my week to either make or break, uh, get closer, or just get absolutely uh, be done by week six. So I'm going to take the Patriots. Um, Bill's here in the chatter. He's going to come up with something. It's not like the Raiders are phenomenal. And um, <laughs> I'm going to go with the Patriots. Damn. I hate saying that. I literally am cutting myself as I'm saying this. But um, I'm just happy. Look, I picked them last year, and then we won with the weird Chandler Jones thing. Um, thanks a lot for the whole Chandler Jones thing. But anyways, um, that's fair, man. I'm, I'm literally teetering between the two because I don't. You know, it's not a fun one to pick, really, um, but I'm going to go Raiders. Uh, next, Cardinals and Rams. Who you got there, Coach? I got the Rams. Ram James. I also, I also do. Uh, Cardinals just lost uh, James Conner for a couple games. The Rams have Cup and Puka Nakua, and their defense is playing better than I thought. I'm going to go Rams as well. This one's interesting. Eagles and Jets. I think it could be closer than people think. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take the Eagles, but I think the Jets are gonna make it very close. Uh, I'm with you. I really just can't seem to find too many scenarios where I'm going to take anyone over the Eagles. Um, like I thought it could be close with the Jets or something like that, or not the Jets, like Cowboys or some of these other teams. Like the the 49ers will probably be the only team I could pick over the the Eagles. But I'm gonna go Eagles as well. But I think quicker than we expected, closer than we expected. Mm -hmm. Next, I don't know why they keep doing this. The primetime game, Sunday Night Football, Giants and Bills. Why do they do that to them? They are terrible. Um, besides the Panthers, they might be the worst team in the league. That mm -hmm. offensive line, it, who's their backup? To Rod Taylor? Because Danny Dimes got hurt. Yeah, I think it's to Rod Taylor. What a disaster. And Saquon probably isn't back again. Um, I'm going to go Bills without a doubt. Bills, 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 Bills. And then Monday Night Football. Kind of another interesting one. Um, I would say an offensive powerhouse versus a defensive powerhouse. Dem boys versus the Chargers. Who you got, Coach? Boys. I think the boys will get back and I'm going I'm going boys as well. So you and I, I don't think we have to discuss that much. I think Justin Herbert's gonna do all right, but I think the um Dak could actually do pretty well because the Chargers off defense just isn't isn't great. And uh, they have a good O-line to, to protect old Dak up there. So you and I have a difference of opinion in one, two, three, four games. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see how this turns out. Um, I don't think we're going to do another episode this week, kind of a short week, because we usually do our episodes on Monday or Tuesday. It's mm -hmm. late Tuesday. And then, uh, you know, you guys are playing on Thursday, so not a lot of time. But when we finally do play each other, which I think is like week 11, we'll have some big stuff planned. we got a couple of guests down the pipeline coming up. And uh, we will see you all next week. Also, before we sign off, SeatGeek, 20 dollars off your tickets, promo code RTK. And Underdog Fantasy, people are actually starting to use this. Promo code RTK, get your deposit matched up to $100. Get some pickup bets in. I've done a few, lost them all. But uh, it's still fun. Yep, here in Missouri, we got to do we got to do fantasy. One of these days, we'll get real uh, live sports betting. But don't use those other underdog codes you hear on different radio stations. Use ours. No, helps ours us is out. the best. Helps us out, and it's real easy to remember. It's R T K. Let's go. Right, not the ones with numbers, the different stuff. R T K. Nope, easy R T K. And we're loyal, and you're loyal too. So thank you all for listening. Peace out. Go Chiefs. Just win, baby.